Hi, I'm Coach Watson, and we're at Cardinal Street University here on a Sunday morning. And Mr. DJ texted me and let me know he was up at the gym and it was time for our workout. So check it out. What you're about to see is a really, really tough workout. And Mr. DJ hit it really, really hard. As you can see, we started them off with the resistance bands. Uh, I used a lot of the resistance bands to make him a way stronger player and way more explosive player than he is right now. So his game will never ever be the same after this workout. This is going to be by far one of the work hardest workouts he ever did. But it's definitely going to show and he's going to see the improvement. So I got to get him back into another workout in about two weeks so we can see the difference in his explosiveness. Alright, so after we pretty much killed his quads with the resistance band, then we went into the jump rope and sprints and intervals. And he did eight intervals of this where he jump rope and then he sprints. So this is the last sprint right here. As you can see, he's really, really tired. So he still maintained his focus and finished every single part of this drill. Now after that, I brought out the lateral resistance. Yes, this is crucial. Right now what you are seeing is he's strengthening up those inner and outer abdominal muscles which are really important for the defense and for the defensive footwork and for defensive speed. I didn't want to clip it out because I wanted you to see how hard this young man was working in his workout. I go pretty hard especially when I get the grown men that's over 18 or 18 or above. You really have to understand if you want to play Division One basketball that you have to have a really, really hard trainer and a really hard, tough uh, workout and work ethic to go with that because you're going to be going up against grown men. You're going to be going up against some really strong players. So it's a must that he does this workout if he wants to really play D1. Right here, we have one of Dwayne Wade's favorite drills, which helps him with his explosiveness right here. And as you can see, he attacked it pretty hard. Now, we are finally on the court, and we're going to start the on-court workout. Now, one of the things I would like coaches to notice is that he has a really consistent shot. And with that being said, I did not have to clip up his workout a lot when we got onto the court. A lot of times with the younger players that I deal with, they're really inconsistent with their shooting form. So I have to clip out a lot of misses during their workout videos. But I noticed with Mr. DJ, I did not have to clip this out. And I would like coaches to really take note of that. That's a lot of concentration. Especially after he just did a, a 45 minute strength and conditioning workout. Legs tired, muscles fatigued. I gave him 10 minutes to rest. And he came back on the court with ferocity and focus, knocking these shots down. And it was just really good to see this. Obviously, I'm holding the camera right now, and he's really giving me some really good footage. Okay, so after we finished that drill, we decided to do the Stephen Curry shooting drill, which really is going to display a lot of his facets of his game which is the outside, the three-point shot, the mid-range shot, and also going in to finish because he has all three of those in his game. He obviously attacked this just like he attacked the last shooting workout, and it was really good to see the focus and the concentration. This is a little more difficult of a drill because you're actually changing your range going from inside, mid-range, and then doing a step back three. But as you can see, he knocked it down with really great consistency. Once again, uh, that really should be noted. Okay, that's a really good shot right there and a really good form. So one of the major things for him is really going to be in his next workout is really going to be more explosive. So make sure you tune in for that next one. And we're going to wait. I'm going to give him about two weeks to recover from this. And he'll come back a way stronger player. Resist him. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel today by clicking below.